it's Nicole welcome back to my channel and if you've been here before I really do appreciate you coming back and if you're new thank you thank you thank you for joining me for this video and I hope you will like what you see and become a subscriber just uh, so hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell you'll be notified each time I post a new video hit that like button and throw me a comment below okay so what you see here today is um, everything for my little pouring art family Facebook group ring pour collaboration so excited to do this I've never done a ring pour before so we will see you get to experience this with me <laughs> so I hope everything turns out well um, so just a couple things I wanted to show you or tell you first okay so the ring pour collaboration is um, for the Facebook group like I said the little pouring art family um, we do monthly collaborations they are not premieres but we do post them at the same time either on our YouTube channels or social media pages all those links will be below in my description box so please check that out and go watch others videos or go to their Facebook and uh, check out their piece for this collaboration so very exciting so check us out all the links like I said will be below in the description box I do also want to thank each and every one of you who decided to go um, or decided to join the premiere we just had on May 4th it was the May the 4th be with you it was a collaboration of 13 artists me included um, and it was just so fun it was a galaxy pour and it was just an all-day event it was a lot of fun so what this ring collaboration is this ring pour collaboration this was chosen by our lovely member Amy from Amy's acrylic artistry she volunteered to pick the details of the pour so what she had chosen was any size square canvas she chose four colors dark purple aqua orange and copper and then we could use black or white so the colors I have chosen are black this will be um, my base color as well I'm gonna be putting a base down underneath my ring actually I think I'm gonna do like two rings so that's what these little cups here are for um, I'll get into that in a minute so the colors I have permanent blue violet by Amsterdam then we have aqua green by artist loft so did I say aqua when I pointed at that <laughs> well if I didn't I meant aqua and then this color here ooh, wowzers it is pretty it is bright it is luminous orange by Holbein it is pretty now um, I'll tell you something in just a second I gotta stay on track here I can easily see something that's shiny a butterfly a squirrel whatever it may be and I get distracted so someone's got to pull me in here right it's got to be myself because nobody's here besides Jillian and she's not gonna do anything because she's napping on the on the couch so um, next color is the deco art metallics copper so what I wanted to also let you know is I added oops, sorry for the noise <clears throat> I added some of this artist loft the iridescent medium this is beautiful it brings some sparkle and shimmer to your paints I added that to the orange and to the aqua just for fun why not right okay what you see here if you've never done anything or seen anything like this most of you may have but uh, I did a drip test I wanted to check the consistencies of my paints I wanted them to be the same they are very very close so fingers crossed that we're gonna be okay with this this is the black I'm okay with that being a little bit um, thinner I think this one is actually not as thin if you can see I'm I think I started this one a little too low but consistency test is a great idea for any time that you 
pour. Um, any type of pour that you do because if you have the same consistency or close like I am here and like I said fingers crossed that it's gonna be good it's very important because that will help your paint from to not separate because if they dry at different speeds that might cause some issues for you crazing cracking etc just the tip try that if you haven't done it before it's definitely worth it. It doesn't take but just a few seconds to do it. So what I'm going to use today are these little silicone cups. Um, I got these off of Amazon. And so if you're interested, I'll put, I'll try to remember to put a link in my description, but I haven't used these yet. And so I thought I would use them because they have the little spout here and I figure maybe I'll have a little bit, I don't know, I just wanted to use them. I haven't used them yet. So there we go. So I'm gonna make two of these, I think, okay? So I'm gonna do two of these on my 12 by 12. So that's the canvas I have today. So let me get um, all of these paints ready. Gosh, I think I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty nervous about this. I am pretty nervous, I'll be honest. <laughs> I haven't done this, like I said, and I didn't have time. I like, um, you know, I've been working on doing these collaborations and I've been having a blast. I wouldn't change it for the world, but all these big artists, I don't know how they keep themselves straight. Cause let me tell you, I feel like I have been constantly busy. <laughs> so, like I said, you'll be seeing this on Saturday, May 8th. We post these at noon. So before we get started, it is my oldest daughter's birthday today. Sam, honey, if you're watching this, happy birthday. I love you so very much. And um, I wish you the most wonderful day and I hope you have a wonderful evening and we're going to be spending part of the day with Sam. So everybody throw her some birthday wishes for me. I would appreciate that. Happy birthday, baby girl. I love you so, so much. And she doesn't know I'm putting this in here. So little secret. I know she watches my videos. <laughs> so she'll see this and probably be embarrassed that I called her out, but I don't care. It's my baby's birthday. Okay. Let's get going. Okay, so I'm gonna put the base down. I'll speed some of this up for you so you are not incredibly bored and then you don't have to push the fast forward button yourself. So let's do this and I'll stop talking now. I'll be back towards the end, so enjoy. Okay, look at these pretty, pretty full cups. One day I'll figure out how to not fill them so full, but they're so pretty. Okay, so here we go. So I'm not sure that I really did this part right, um, but you'll notice, you see kind of, it's like rippling. 
and I don't know what I'm doing that's making that happen. Um, all in all, it ends up turning out fine, but you know what? That's okay. This is my first time. I'm, I'm not going to be mad at it because the results I'm, I end up getting um, are not bad at all. So practice, right? You just got to keep practicing. That's the best that you can do. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna leave it just how it is. Um, I wanna see how it dries. I might have too much paint on here, but you know what? This is my first time trying. So for me, it's gonna be good to experiment with that to know for next time how much. I mean, I did tilt quite a bit off, but we will see. I like the little negative space corners here. So let's just kind of fix that corner because there was, I think my thumb was in it when I was tilting. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you joining me and I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and please check out everybody else. Go to my description box, like I said, and go and watch them show them some support for me. I would greatly appreciate it. And again, if um, you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and throw me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this. All right. Until next time. Thanks guys. Bye. Wow. All I can say is, wow, Amy, you picked some fantastic colors. These are just so beautiful and stunning together. I love it. Thanks, Amy, for choosing this collaboration. We greatly appreciate it. And I loved challenging myself in doing this. But look at that shimmer and that sparkle in those colors. Totally awesome.